This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Thanks EA. Hi guys, my name is Greena Jemskill and welcome to an overview of the new Grand Garages update in The Sims Free Play. The Grand Garages update will be released from 8am on the 12th of March 2019. AEDT time. For most people that means that the update will go live on the 11th of March because that's Australia time which obviously are quite a lot ahead of the UK and the US. So for most people it'll be the 11th but do check convert that time 8am AEDT to whatever time zone you are in so you know when the update will start going live. There is a lot going on in this update and it is amazing, let me tell you. I have got videos on all of the new events and quests that we have, so make sure you check the description to find detailed information on all of the events. The first thing that we get with this new update is the new Grand Garages live event, which is a 10-day event, a live event that starts on the 12th of March, so when as soon as the update comes out, you should get this 10 day live event. It is like all of the other live events where we have to collect arts and crafts items. And as we progress throughout the event, we'll win various garage items. We get garage doors, lighting, cabinets and sinks and tools, various things that go inside a garage. And the grand prize for that is a garage house, which is just amazing there's lots of really interesting features that go along with those garage houses so make sure you check out that video link down below in the description we get a new type of quest with this update we get a feature quest which is a completely new thing within the sims free play we've got a cars on lots feature quest which is the first feature quest we've ever had this is available to start from the 12th of March. Now the feature quests are different from other quests in the fact that they function in a way to unlock and introduce a new feature to the game. The quest duration is much shorter than usual and you pay simoleons to start the quest. The pricing is scale based on player level so the higher level the more you will pay to start the quest. It's a really fun new idea I think. I have played through the Cars in Lots feature quest and I am definitely a fan. That video will be linked down below, check that out because in that feature quest we unlock the amazing ability to place cars actually in homes. You can put them on the roofs of your homes if you want to. It's an amazing short little quest that won't take you very long at all. You have to be level 7 to do it and you have to have the car yard, the car dealership built. The nightclub, you do have to have the nightclub built as well. And the nightclub should be built. If you haven't already built the nightclub, it should be available for free for all players once the update goes live. The other new event that we have in this update is a new wedding presents live event. Now, this is a seven day event that starts on the 19th of April and it, again it's a live event where we collect arts and crafts items and we get some absolutely adorable wedding items. There's little pictures from a wedding day, there's flowers, there's candles, there's a little like toaster oven, some really adorable decorations that go along with that event. The grand prize for that is a sports car, it's like a red sports car that is extortionately priced is about two million simoleons it's very swanky but it's very expensive and that's the grand prize they are the new events and quests in this update there are a few reruns and there are a few little tweaks to the game we'll talk about the little tweaks in a moment but we'll just go through any reruns that are going on so we have the chocolatier hobby event which will run from the 25th to the 31st of March, which is a seven-day event. We also have the Inner Child's Play Seasonal Quest rerun, a seven-day event which starts on the 30th of March. We have the Wedding Bells Live event rerun, a 13-day event starting on the 30th of March as well. So if you haven't done these, you've got a busy time ahead of you. There's quite a lot of reruns in this update, I feel. We also have the Hair Hobby event, the Daring Do's. That is a seven-day event which runs from the 1st to the 7th of April. 
and we have the chocolate egg chase. Of course, we have Easter coming up with this update if you celebrate Easter. We have the chocolate egg chase seasonal quest rerun. That's a seven day event starting from the 10th of April. So that's all the events that will go on with this update. A few little tweaks. We have new build mode categories. So we have a fences category. So all fence objects are now going to be gathered into this tab, which is fantastic. And we feel like we've been getting a lot of decorative items for the outdoors that all just go in decorative. And it's just, it's just too much. I'm glad that we have this fence category. This tab will only appear for people that have already unlocked fences from previous events. So if you haven't unlocked fences already, you won't get this tab unless you do unlock some fences. We also have the garage doors category. Like I said, with the Grand Garages event, we're going to get some garage doors. So obviously we need somewhere to put them. We've got a garage doors category and that is going to gather all of the garage themed content from the new event there is a new limited time maternity packs, a new bonus prize will be available when you complete a nine day pregnancy event and earn a baby bonus. There are three packs that are available for nine days. In the first pack, I will put the dates on the screen, but the first pack is available from the 26th of March to the 3rd of April. The second pack, the 4th to the 12th of April and the 3rd, the 13th to the 21st of April. In order to get these maternity packs, you have to start a pregnancy event within those time periods and then earn the baby bonus from it. You have to get 100% on a pregnancy event that you've started within that time period and you will earn that limited edition maternity pack in addition to what you would normally earn. And that is the Grand Garages update. I feel like there's a lot going on, um, lots lots of reruns. If you haven't completed all of these events, you're gonna be busy. <laughs> I always think that when a new event, when a new update comes out, I think, oh, I'm so glad that I finished most of the events and I only have to do the new ones because I don't know how I would cope with all of the uh, the other ones. But it's fantastic. The these updates, in my opinion, you know, they they keep giving us what we're asking for I feel and it's only going from strength to strength. These updates are just fantastic and they just keep providing us with more fantastic additional content. Let me know what you think, let me know what you are most excited for. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to check out any videos down below for more information on any of the new events and quests that are featured within this update and I will see you soon. Bye!